No. 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 Wait. Yes. If everybody in the world checked their email, the internet would probably break. Hey, ho, strong bad. What kind of free toys would you put in specially marked carry-out boxes? PB over the hills. Ooh, I'm glad you asked, Problem Brian. I've been wanting to give specially marked boxes of cereal a specially marked piece of my mind for some time now. I choose this piece. Well, before you even get to the toys inside, you first have to navigate the treacherous, jaggedy rock-filled Class 5 rapids of specially marked cereal box fakeouts. Luckily, I'm a lame, sandal-wearing hippie with a ponytail that's been down these rapids with groups of tourists many times. Okay, guys, I'm gonna need everybody to lean hard to the right. The first hazard to watch out for are cereals that include anything grown in Iowa in the name. You know, corn, wheat, oats, hogs, fundamentally sound college basketball players. Please to stay away from these. Those cereals only ever put fitness-related crap in specially marked boxes. Oh great, I can count how many steps I took today. Fantastic, I can restart my heart if it stops. What you do want to look for are cereals with sound effects in the name. Smacks, pops, puffs, blasts, and, um, gunshots in a crowded mall. You know, the kind with the squarish, sugared pieces of styrofoam they claim are marshmallows. These are guaranteed to have a nice, big, reach your nasty unwashed hand straight to the bottom of the box toy in it. Next up are the three most useless letters in the specially marked alphabet. U. P. C. If you spot these wastes of serif on a cereal box, turn and run as fast as you can. This means not only are they gonna make you buy several more boxes that you have to cut the barcodes off of, but you're also gonna have to involve your mom so she can write a check for the shipping and handling if she's back from Vegas. The nerve of those cereals! You leave my mom out of this! Some cereals can't even be bothered with a toy at all and try and pass off the back of the box as some kind of prize. That dotted line you expect me to cut along is like a toilet slap in my face. Masks, mazes, word searches, pa! I know the kind of kids that enjoyed these fun tivities on the backs of cereal boxes, and let me tell you, they were real easy to beat up. Blah, strong bad, blah! I'm a crappy stunt man. You know what kind of toys I'd put in specially marked boxes? Yes. Anything heavy and pointy enough to do lasting damage to the face. Dog bad, while I'm down here, can you help me finish this ward search? I can't find dextrose flavonoids. Uh-oh, face print. Yeah, you're gonna need one of those little shimmy cloths.